11. Yes, it is time for episode number 11 of the Yoktu project and open embedded on a Raspberry Pi 5. In episode number 9, I showed you how to use I squared C. After that, in episode number 10, we talked about the serial peripheral interface, also known as SPI. And today we're going to talk about another um, bus for attaching peripheral devices. In this episode, we're going to explore one wire and I'm going to show you how to connect the very popular temperature sensor ds 18 b 20 for this video, I reused the setup that I started in episode 1, which means that I'm using uh, Pocky, the reference distribution of the Yocto project, and I'm also using Yocto release SCARPGAF on a build machine with Ubuntu 24.04. I initialized the build environment with the source command, and after that, using Vim, I opened conf slash loco.conf. At the end of this configuration file, I added a couple of new lines. The first line is for variable enable underscore w which equals to 1. This is the key configuration for this video because it enables one wire. The second line that I added is with image underscore install append that you know very well from my previous videos. I've extended the image with a couple of Python packages. I've installed Python 3 core and Python 3 shell which I'm going to use in the demonstration where we're gonna write a simple Python script to read temperature from DS18B20. After saving the changes to conf slash loco.conf and exiting Vim, I typed in bitbake core image base. This kicked off an incremental build of the image, which will create a new version of this image with enabled one wire and the mentioned Python 3 packages. Although this is an incremental build, it still takes some time. When bitbake completes, I'm going to flash the new version of the image to a micro SD card and boot it on Raspberry Pi 5. You know the drill from my previous episodes. However, before we proceed with the demonstrations, let me explain you how it works. One wire was introduced in the mid 90s by Dallas Semiconductor. As the name suggests, it is a hardware uh, protocol that allows you to use a single wire for communication. And DS18B20 is one of the most popular temperature sensors because it's very easy to use it and obviously you just need one wire for the signal. There are uh, different form factors of the sensor. Here I have a waterproof version. As you can see, it has only three wires that I need to connect. Uh, the yellow one is for the signal. Uh, this is the one wire communication. The black one is for ground and the red one is for voltage. Apart from connecting this to the Raspberry Pi 5, we have to do a few things from the software side. As you have seen in the previous step, we used a very specific variable from Meta Raspberry Pi, uh, which uh, triggers the enablement of the device tree binary overlay required uh, for loading one wire peripherals uh, in config.txt file. The closed source Raspberry Pi GPU firmware, which acts as the primary bootloader, parses config.txt from the FAT boot partition and loads the device tree binary overlays. Config.txt is a plain text file with any style format to configure hardware and systems options on Raspberry Pi. Think of it as a BIOS or UFI uh, on your PC, but in a very simplified version for Raspberry Pi. In order to build images for Raspberry Pi 5 with the Yocto project, we have been using the community maintained board support package layer Meta Raspberry Pi since episode 1. This layer provides the recipe rp config, which parses the special Raspberry Pi variable enable underscore w1. While processing the recipe, if this variable is set to 1, Bitbake makes sure that in config.txt the following line is added dt overlay equals to w1-gpio. This happens at build time. After that, at runtime for Raspberry Pi 5, w1-gpio device tree binary overlay is mapped to w1-gpio-pi5. One more thing, recently while working on a professional project, I found out that one of these um, device tree binary overlays is missing from Meta Raspberry Pi, and as a result, one wire does not work uh, on Raspberry Pi 5. I fixed it and opened a couple of GitHub pull requests, including one for SCARPGAF, the Yocto release that we're using in these video tutorials. As of the moment, both of my GitHub pull requests are still open. I hope they will be merged soon. However, 
when you're watching this video, please make sure that the fix is applied on your version of Meta Raspberry Pi. The key hardware component for the demonstration of one wire on Raspberry Pi 5 is the DS18B20 digital thermometer. The sensor is available in different form factors and pin configurations. On the left, I have it with TO92 package and on the right is a waterproof a version of the sensor that I'm going to use through the rest of the video. But before we proceed with that, let me show you a closer look at the uh, labels on the TO92 package. DS18B20 was created by Dallas Semiconductor, which was later on acquired by Maxim, which was recently acquired by Analog Devices. If you have watched episode number 10, you probably remember that I used an open source hardware add-on board for Raspberry Pi that I designed in KiCad. The name of this board is Anavi Gardening U-Hat, or also known as MicroHat. Uh, in episode number 10, I used it to connect the capacitive soil moisture sensor. And today I'm going to use the same board, but for another purpose. There is a terminal for attaching the S18B20 um, sensor on uh, the board. As part of the printed circuit board, there is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor which sits between the voltage, which is 3.3 volts, and um, the one wire signal. On my desk, I have one of my ThinkPad laptops and all required hardware components. I attached Anavi Gardening U hat to Raspberry Pi 5. After that, as a second step of the wiring, I used a screwdriver to connect the waterproof version of the DS18B20 temperature sensor to the dedicated terminal on Arnavi Gardening you had. The length of the sensor is 1 meter, which makes it very convenient for measuring temperature in soil. This is very appropriate for any projects related to agriculture or gardening. After fastening the screws to attach the temperature sensor, I proceeded by plugging a USB to UART debug cable. This way I'm going to interact uh, with the Raspberry Pi 5 from my laptop. One additional optional step was that I added a USB-C power meter to observe the power consumption of the Raspberry Pi 5 while doing my demonstrations in this video. The last step of the wiring is to plug the micro SD card on which I had already flashed core image base. This is the version with enabled one wire that we built on the very first step of this episode. It's time for the demonstrations. Let's start with a simple demonstration how to read the temperature. As of the moment, I have Ubuntu 2404 on this laptop, just like I have the same version of Ubuntu on my build machine. So on the laptop, I started the terminal application and inside the terminal application, I typed in sudo screen. Screen is a command line application for serial communication. The purpose of this application is to establish serial communication between the laptop and the Raspberry Pi 5. Just to make sure that we're all on the same page, on the Raspberry Pi 5, I'm running core image base that we built at the beginning of the video. It is with enabled one wire communication and it is based on release scarpgov of the Yocto project. I've logged in as root without any password. I already explained you how it works. The uh, Raspberry Pi bootloader loads the required uh, device tree binary overlays. After that, in our setup, we have uBoot, which boots the Linux kernel. And once we are in Linux user space, we can access the one wire devices. The Linux kernel exposes them through special files in the file system. The path is slash sys slash bus slash w1 slash devices. If the temperature sensor DS18B20 is properly detected, you will see a special directory that starts with prefix 28. In this directory, there is a special file called w1 underscore slave. And if we read its contents, we're going to see the temperature. In the video, I used the cut command for this purpose. Let's have a closer look at the terminal. As you can see, as part of the output, we have two lines. At the end of the second line, we have t equals to a list of digits. These digits represent the temperature in Celsius. And in this case, the ambient temperature in the room is 26.687 degrees. The temperature of my body is obviously higher than this. So if I hold the DS18B20 temperature sensor in my hand for a few seconds, we can observe how the temperature increases. 
In the video you can see how I held the sensor in my right hand while using my left hand I executed the command again and I observed how the temperature increased. I kept holding the sensor and I kept uh, taking the measurements again and again so you can see that over the time the temperature increased. After releasing the sensor from my hand the temperature decreased. As I told you, I have a waterproof version of the DS18B20 sensor, so let's measure the temperature of the water. Meet my mysterious moss balls that live in water. They're called marimo. Very carefully, I open the jar. And although these moss balls love water, my computer and the rest of the electronics on my desk hates water, so once again, I repeat, I was very careful with this demonstration. The length of this waterproof DS18B20 sensor is one meter, so I have enough to put it in the jar. It is also very convenient for gardening and agriculture projects because the same way I can plug uh, the temperature sensor inside the soil of the plants. After plugging the DS18B20 sensor inside the water, I measured again and the temperature was again around 26 degrees Celsius. This totally makes sense because the Marimo stays in the same room where I'm recording the video, so pretty much the air temperature is very similar to the water temperature in this case. For the first two demonstrations, I used uh, Bash just to output the value in the uh, terminal, but we can do this programmatically as well, of course, so let me quickly show you how to do it with Python. I prepared a very simple and short Python 3 script to read the temperature data coming out of the DS18B20 sensor. I haven't deployed it with the image, so instead I opened the Python 3 interactive shell and I typed it in manually. The very first line is to import glob. This is a Python 3 Unix style path name pattern expansion. It is provided in our core image base through the Python 3 dash shell package that I've included in the very first step when I was building the image. The whole Python 3 script is six lines. It's very straightforward and simple to understand. I open ow1 underscore slave files in directory with prefix 28 dash, which are part of directory slash c slash bus slash w1 slash devices. In the particular demonstration, there is a single file because we have a single sensor. I open the file in read-only mode and I read all the lines. I split them uh, by searching for t equals to the digits after that and converted these digits to a float value, which was printed on the screen. For your convenience, this very simple Python 3 script is available as part of the description of the video and shared in GIST, so you can just do copy and paste. By the way, one quick tip, to break out and force a blank line in Python 3 interactive command line interface, press enter twice. The measurements taken from the Python 3 script are actually exactly the same as the measurements that we did on the previous demonstration using the cut command from shell. The temperature in the room by the time when I recorded this video was 26 degrees. Just to make it clear that this was a very quick demonstration, the proper way would be to include this Python 3 script as part of the image through a recipe. We can do this from our own layer. At the end of the video, let's quickly summarize what I did and what we've learned. I enabled one wire with variable enable underscore w1 equals to one at conf slash loco.conf. I also added Python 3 dash core and Python 3 dash shell to core image base. I needed them to create a simple Python script and runtime to read temperature from DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. Apart from the mentioned sensor, the rest of the hardware was an appropriate power supply, the open source hardware Anavi gardening you had, USB to UR debug dongle, and of course, Raspberry Pi 5 single board computer. Thank you very much for watching episode number 11 about the Yocto project and open embedded on a Raspberry Pi 5. In this episode, we've learned how to use one wire for reading temperature data from DS18B20 sensor. I hope that this information was useful. Please let me know in the comments below what other topics would you like to be covered. 
If you find um, these tutorials interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.